Welcome to this post-game press conference of the 2024 NCAA Division III Softball Tournament. Opening round of regional play, Salisbury defeated Manhattanville 9-0 in five innings. We're joined by head coach Lacey Lord of Salisbury, as well as on the left is Lindsey Windsor, and on the right is Lauren Myers. So coach, just first a general statement on the game that was. Um, I think that we came out with our bats on fire. I think that's something we've been talking about all week. Um, just, you know, bouncing back from a tough uh, um, tournament, sorry, Coast to Coast tournament. <laughs> um, and I think, you know, we just, uh, you know, we were playing one pitch at a time and, you know, made some good adjustments within the game, um, got their base out early, and uh, just, a, just a great game overall. Lindsay, you had a lot of pitches in that first inning, but after you helped your own cause in the bottom of the first, you really settled in and started throwing strikes. Uh, how was the arm feeling today? Good. I feel really good. I think I'm finally settling in a bit. <laughs> and uh, Lauren, you had the first big hit, that two-run double in the first inning. What did you see, and uh, uh, what was it like swinging the bat getting it out there? Um, yeah, I mean, I fell behind the count. I just wanted to see a few pitches when I first did that. Um, I knew I had to shorten my swing up and just um, – Put the ball in place somewhere. I just wanted to put a good swing on a good pitch. That's what I did. Okay. We'll open it up for general questions. Uh, first game in the tournament this year. Is it any different than just playing a regular season game, or how do you approach it differently? That's open for anyone. I think it's a little different this year for all of us because we all came in together. So it's a big deal, and we want to go out together on a high note. So we're playing hard. Yeah, and at the same time, like me and Abby said before the game even started, we're like, this just kind of feels like a regular season game, which is good because we don't want to put too much pressure on ourselves. And at the end of the day, I think that showed in our game. We played very relaxed, which is good. How much do you think it helped having seen Manhattanville before? It's rare to see a team in the regular season and then right off the bat in the regional. I think it was, I think it was really helpful. I mean, you're right, you don't see that very often. And so I think, you know, we, we had some good notes on them for playing in the regular season, as I'm sure that they did for us. So I think that that, you know, kind of can put your mind at ease a little bit. Um, and I think, you know, walking into this, like, yes, it's the postseason, you know, back to your question. Um, so, so it's a little, there's a little bit more at stake, obviously, right? But at the end of the day, it's still a game and we're still out here wanting to enjoy it and have fun, so. And how significant was it getting to play at home to start regionals, a place where, Coach, you have maybe a handful of losses in your entire career so far, and it's year four? Um, I think it's awesome. I think it's such an advantage. I think we have, obviously, a wonderful facility, and we love to play and defend the march. And uh, just to wrap things up, uh, defended the march that first game. Uh, the next game will be the 11 o'clock, um, no elimination at stake. So how big of a burden is that not having to, you know, go through the not advancing side of the bracket? Well, I think it's huge. I think it, you know, I think it really can help um, just with fatigue and, and those sorts of things. But, um, you know, it's still, you still want to win the game, right? So like there's the pressure is still on, even though it's not an elimination game. Um, but I think it boils down to just continue on with our, with our mentality of one pitch at a time you know, one game at a time. All right. Uh, thanks very much uh, to all three of you, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right.